Today's lessons will be on cable systems. Goals. Be able to replace cables on both shifting and braking systems. Parts to identify. Shifter. Cable. Housing. Housing end caps. Derailer. Tools needed. Box wrench, 8, 9, or 10 millimeter. Cable cutters. All or sharpened spoke. 4, 5, or 6 millimeter Allen key. Step 1. Identify the problem and make sure you need to replace your cable before you begin. Check for rust or corrosion, damage to cables, and kinked, bent, broken, or worn out housing. All these can cause friction and result in poor shifting and braking. Step 2. Friction or index. If you are replacing a shift cable, determine if you have a friction shifter or an indexed shifter by moving the lever on the shifter. If there is a distinct click between each gear, then it is indexed. If there is many small clicks or moves smoothly without any sound, it is friction. For index shifting, you need to use shift cable housing, which is made of strands of steel wire that run parallel or lengthwise along the housing. For friction shifting and brakes, you need brake housing, which has steel coiled around the cable in a spiral motion. Step 3. Gather materials. Gather the materials needed, in this case, new housing and a new cable, along with necessary end caps. Make sure you have the correct style of housing and a cable with the correct head. For shifting, the cable will be a small cylinder. For mountain bikes, it will be a large round head. And for road brakes, the head is stepped with a dome or teardrop shape at the end. You will also need end caps for the housing. Step 4. Remove old cable and housing. Release the old cable by loosening the clamping bolt on the derailleur or brake, cutting off the cable end if necessary, and remove the old cable and housing. Step 5. Cut new housing. Cut new housing to proper length for the cable. Make sure it is long enough to allow the handlebars to turn freely in both directions. Using the old housing as a guide can be helpful. For the rear derailleur, make a loop large enough to fit your fist. Use an awl or sharpened spoke to make sure that the ends are clean. Install the housing end caps. Install the housing end caps, sometimes called ferrules. Note, there are some different sizes, so make sure they all fit snugly. Step 6. Install new cable. Lightly grease the new cable and thread it through the shifter or brake lever and through the housing. Make sure the housing sits properly in the frame's cable stops.
Look for a groove in the derailleur or brake to determine where the cable should clamp and secure the cable using the proper tool. Step 7. Pre-stretch new cable. It is normal for a new cable to stretch. Pre-stretch the cable by pedaling forward and pushing it down on the cable firmly. Readjust the tension when done. Step 8. Final step. Cut the cable end. Cut the new cable leaving enough room for future adjustments and attach the cable end to it.